What is up YouTube back with another video um, want to apologize for the lighting and if there's any noise in the background um, my dad and his wife just got a new sound bar so they are playing everything really loud to see how it works so if you happen to hear any thuds or thumps that's because they're playing the TV way too loud um, in the lighting it is about uh, what time is it I think seven o'clock at night no eight o'clock at night and I have this really dim lamp in my room, so yeah, the lighting's not that great, but that's pretty usual in my videos. Um, we'll be changing soon. Um, just a forewarning: this um, video has a roller coaster of emotions be <laughs> between each book. So um, let me just start off by saying I got a lot of pickups. Um, a lot's been going on this week, and. Um, a lot of good and a lot of bad so this is where I am right now I am currently reading The Walking Dead volume 14 No Way Out I read the first 13 pretty quick and I am still in love with The Walking Dead that now I'm picking up the floppies um, I'll probably continue to pick up the trades I might even upgrade to the omnibus not sure don't know what I'm gonna do yet but um that's where I am right now volume 14 so um, it's crazy how different um, the comics are from the movies or from the TV show but yeah uh, it's, it's it's an awesome story but a um, couple pickups that I probably shouldn't have picked up because um, as you guys know I am trying to buy a house and um, I've been spending money like crazy but I did pick this up at a really good price it is Batman number 33, CGC Signature Series. Um, these never go really well in the video, but um, it's signed by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. And I love that cover. Um, the signatures are in gold. There's Greg Capullo and then Scott Snyder, so it's really hard to see. Um, I did change my mind on my CGC series. For the new 52, I'm going to try to get all of them 9.8, signed by either Scott Snyder or Greg Capullo, or both of them. And um, I got this for a steal of a price. At least to me, it was a steal because there was a regular 9.8, and they wanted more than I got this for. There's about two of them. Um, I got this for about 40 bucks. so... Um, I think it's a really good deal. I know the 9.8 um, regular blue label, I think they wanted 50 or 60, so I think with the two signatures I did pretty well. Um, but yeah, probably should have saved that money, but um, when the time is right, I guess you buy it. But um, I really don't know where to start off in this video because there's so much to talk about and so much to show, but um, yeah. Let's just, where should I start? Let's just start with this pile. Um, these I got off a Facebook auction. Um, really weird thing with the Facebook auction. They uh, shut down the group and then they uh, reopened it. And then um, they shut it down again and then reopened it. So it was really weird. Um, they, deactiv they deactivated the group and then reactivated it. But I got all these pretty much for a dollar. Um, Batman Detective Comics 875, and I laugh because it says drawing the line at 299. Kind of seems like how many times have we heard that? Uh, this one I was super excited to get, uh, Detective Comics 877, and I believe that's a jock cover. Not yeah, it's a jock cover. Uh, beautiful. It kind of I think it's the one after my gas mask, um, the gas mask issue, the one that's the background on my phone. I think it's the one after that. And then I got uh, The Walking Dead 143. And these aren't even going to be like probably opened since I have all the trades. I'm probably just going to collect them to collect. Then I got Batman 649. Don't even know if I had this, but um, most of the auctions, it's the first six books ship for a certain price, and then after that it goes up. So if I bid on some, I try to get six just to get my money's worth worth of shipping because most of them ship priority uh, today. Then I got um, some uh, Walking Dead 97, Something to Fear Part 1, and I think 
I don't know if this is the A cover or the B cover, but I think there's like a connecting cover between I think like six or seven issues. Um, I saw somebody post about it, but this is number 97. This is number 98, part two. And then I got number 100. So I think there is a different cover that looks like those that connects to it. And then I got this, I don't know if it's like a foil cover or holographic, but it um, reflects Robin number one just because I wanted to get more for my shipping and I needed number one for the series. So <laughs> um, yeah, it was a random buy. Um, next pile. Um, this is kind of a long story, kind of a weird story, kind of an upsetting story. Um, as you guys know, I did a trade with, um, I don't even know if I should name him because it wasn't a good experience on my end, but I guess um, you guys probably, some of you already know who it is. And um, I did a trade with the Collector 27 um, and I finally got my stuff. And I say finally because we um, agreed to ship out on December 21st. And um, I shipped out on the 21st, Priority 2 day, and as you guys seen in his video, he got it. Um, I have the whole communications with them, but I'm not going to you know, go through it all. I'll just give a synopsis, I guess. Um, and I don't want this to be taken as drama or anything, but just to, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I should be mad or upset or angry, but um, I kind of feel like, I don't know. I just, I don't know what to feel. I'm a little mad um, that we agreed to ship on December 21st and I barely got the books the other day. So it almost took two months and um, continuously just said, I'm shipping out Friday. I'm shipping out Saturday. I'm shipping out tomorrow. You'll have your tracking within an hour. And then he never sent it, so then I'd have to, you know, email him again or even comment on his videos. And then in his videos, he even said, don't worry, I'm going to ship out tomorrow. I'm going to ship out the next day with all these other people's books. So he was making a lot of trades. I don't know if he just got caught up in it all and forgot or if he just didn't care, didn't care that I got the books or not. Um, his excuse, his first excuse was his dad was getting laid off and had to train the new guy, but then his dad got his job back or something like that at the post office. So he said his dad will ship out the next day and that was a month ago. And then in his videos, his excuses was he was too busy working out. So. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to say be careful who you trade with. Um, I would definitely um, try to ship, you know, last or make them ship first, but not a lot of people are going to do that. So I just want to let you guys know to be careful. Um, this isn't to be taken as me bashing him or me saying don't trade with him, but just watch what you guys do. Um, definitely learn my lesson. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it I'm probably not gonna trade with them again um, it's just it was just a bad deal so two months pretty much two months later I got my books um, and then he kept saying don't worry I'm gonna ship you a stack of books I'm gonna make up for it blah 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 which I didn't care about I don't you know all I wanted was what we agreed on um, you don't gotta make up for it you just gotta be you know a man of your word and ship what you you say you're going to ship and uh, in a timely manner so um finally got it um this is what we traded for i got batman 23 which i think i already have uh batman 27 which i picked up a copy that i because i completely forgot we traded it for it then um we got harley's little black book the flash number 47 by uh, Terry Dodson and then the Flash 51 John Romita Jr. variant and then this is the stack of books he added and um, this is kind of real I really don't know how to feel um, 
he sent Silver Surfer number 15, X Factor 104, and Superman the Man of Steel 133. So, just going to leave it at that. Um, be careful, I guess, no people that you trade with. Um, yeah, just going to leave it at that. And uh, last but not least, my favorite pickup of the week. Um, there is one little problem with it, but um, that's okay. But I finally got it after uh, months of looking for a good deal. I got Batman number one. Um, didn't pay too much, but as you guys can see right here, there is like a stain that goes down. I don't know if that's part of the stain or part of the cover, but right here there's a stain. So I didn't pay too much for it. Probably paid a little bit more than what I should have, but um, I'm just glad I finally have it, especially after that whole DC Essentials deal where I drove two hours and yeah, that was a horrible, <laughs> that was a horrible situation as well. So um, finally got it. It is my reader copy. I will eventually get a CGC signature series copy um, whenever that might be. But um, those are my pickups and I have I think three more pack. Actually I do have one more thing. Don't know if you guys are going to be interested in this at all. But um, I did trade for this Dimensions Limited Edition Green Arrow. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, as you guys know, I do collect the Lego minifigs for the um, DC series. Um, so I got that. Um, I traded some other Legos that only cost me two bucks, and these go for around 20. So I think I made out pretty well on that. But um, I have about three, three or four more packages. Um, I really need to stop spending money, but. Um, uh, coming in, I got some more Walking Dead, some more Batman, so, um, and then uh, obviously new comic book day, but um, probably gonna, I know I keep saying I'm gonna slow down, and I don't, but um, I probably am gonna slow down now because of the whole house situation, and um, yeah. Um, also want to give a shout out to, once again, Seeking Near Mint Comics, if you guys didn't see my um, his random act of kindness when um, he sent me some books please go check it out and check out his channel um, I also want to apologize to the people that commented on my last three videos that it took so long to reply um, as you guys know my car was in the shop I finally got that out and then um, my grandma did pass away and I had to go to the funeral so I took some time off of work and just kind of um, stayed off um, YouTube and um, social media um, I just kind of shut down for about four days so um, yeah so very wild emotional um, roller coaster this week but um, I guess life goes on but anyway um, thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking through all 13 minutes of you made it this far um, let me know what your favorite pickup was. Mine is definitely Batman number one. And then in a close second is my CGC book. Love that cover. Love how he broke the Riddler staff in half. And um, it's just one step closer to getting all 52 CGC series. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for always supporting me. Um, thank you guys for everything. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And always, always have a great day.